Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to Fallout 2. Last time, we arrived at the Umbra tribe. We arrived at this location, and we helped this tribe out with a bunch of small problems that they had. And we gained a bunch of experience points! But we didn't gain a whole lot of information, and really, we didn't find anything to improve our stats. So we're gonna have to continue onward. I hate to leave, but we need to find the Gek, and we need to find Vault 13. We don't have any leads on where that might be, so we need to go wander around until we find something that'll give us a... something that'll point us in the right direction. We are here on the... I think it's the Salt Lake Coast, so we're probably somewhere in Utah. There's the Den, Klamath, the Toxic Caves. Vault 13 probably isn't near Arroyo. That would be way too easy, so we're gonna head... We're just gonna follow the coastline for now. We're gonna follow the coastline and try and find... Ooh, we're gonna... What's, what are we encountering? Well, we're... Uh, this is a hostile cannibals! We've got hostile cannibals here! Okay? We're getting sidetracked by cannibals. You know what? We're not gonna eat you, but we will kill you for the experience points! Boy, Cassidy is just a beast with his sawed-off shotgun. I gotta make sure to keep this guy properly supplied with ammunition, because he is doing all the heavy lifting. My spear doesn't even come close. So, these cannibals. They have... This guy had... This girl had a combat knife and four rocks. You can keep the rocks. I don't know why I would pick rocks off your corpse. No, you can keep those seven rocks, too. You can have all of the rocks. I don't need rocks. Let's poke around, see if maybe these cannibals had any good supplies on them. They probably just had a bunch of human meat. That's going to be my guess. But if they have maybe... Oh, they, they probably hunt humans, so they've got to have some stuff, right? Some good stuff for hunting, right? No. There is a whole lot of nothing here. Well, time to move on. We're heading down. Yep, we're gonna follow the coast from the Umbra tribe. And we'll, we'll just follow the coast for a while. Uh, another... What do we have here? We encounter some fishermen. Friendly fishermen? They seem friendly enough. You are just in time to witness the blessings of the goddess of the sea. Just before a big storm, we hurl spears into the sea to show our bravery against the elements. If we have proven ourselves worthy, the goddess rewards us with fruit. Uh, may I see what the goddess has bestowed upon you? Here is what the great goddess has given us this year. We will gladly share her blessings with you for a price. Buy fruit for five bucks? No. I have no need to purchase fruit. Enjoy your crazy ritual, fisherman. Fishing for fruit, I guess. Goodbye. And back on the road, following the coast. This map seems pretty big. Yeah, this coast is huge. We can eventually make our way to San Francisco if we keep following the coastline, which we may very well do. And another encounter. Now I suppose you're going to tell me you're just out looking for a water chip. Do I look dumb? Get him! And I was immediately murdered by an Enclave patrol. Wow. I hate the Enclave. Well, I don't think I saved recently, so pardon me while I go back to my previous save and continue on from there. Well, that was very obnoxious. Just ran- it was a random encounter that ended immediately with my death. That, you know, that's definitely unlucky. This is my punishment, my penance for having put zero points into luck. Every once in a while, just- oops, you're dead. Oh, this is good. A bunch of scorpions and a bunch of geckos. Yeah, we can handle those. Just, uh, it's a bit obnoxious, but we can do it. We can handle them. Just kind of wish that I'd- Encounter something that had maybe ammunition or something. Vic, you are just the absolute worst in combat. Granted, I just dropped my weapon, so I'm not amazing, but at least I didn't fall over on my face. And combat is over. The end result is that we got about 600 more experience points, and I can pick these pelts off the gecko, good for trading. But I am poisoned. I might want to take an antidote so I don't die from poisoning. I'm not sure if that just uh, is a permanent status effect until I take an antidote, or maybe if it just decreases my health over time for a while. If it's not permanent, I might just want to hold on to it until it wears off normally, but I don't know. So this man who was attacked by geckos over here, the remains of a trapper. What did he have on him? Hey, he's got an antidote. Now I can just heal myself right now. I suppose I always could, but I was kind of trying to save these antidotes, but I've got three of them, so sure, let's take one of them. Alright, we are done here. Let's save and move on. Just keep following the coastline to the south. Eventually, if we don't find anything, we can make our way to San Francisco and see what that city's all about. 
But we're gonna keep- No, not you again! Not those stupid Enclave again! Run! Everybody run! Run for your lives! Dog, yes. Run for your lives in the opposite direction. Don't try and fight these guys. These Enclave soldiers are not a joke. No, you can't fight them. Don't try. No! There goes Cassidy. Cassidy is dead. Turn to a pile of ash. No! Load! Load from checkpoint! We are so unlucky. Wow, we couldn't even make it to the exit grid. That's how fast we died. It's a good thing we saved after that battle with the geckos and scorpions. All right, this time, this time we're definitely not going to encounter the Enclave. Who is this? A hermit. Let's talk to the hermit. He's got to be friendlier than the Enclave. Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess, you I, I hermit? It seems he hasn't spoken to anyone in years. Why are you hermit? Me want left alone. Can we barter? Trade, then leave. Okay, let's trade. I've got a bunch of scorpion tails, and you have a healing powder. That's good enough, I suppose. And we'll save and continue on our journey following the coast, trying to avoid any giant armored goons in power armor. That's definitely going to get us killed. There's no way we can even run away from that. So if we encounter them, we're probably going to have to reload from checkpoint. Oh, apparently we had a nice vantage point to look out of the ocean here. Let's keep going. We're not stopping a sightsee. We're trying to make our way to Vault 13, wherever that is. Do you wish to encounter an Enclave patrol? I do not. I wish to keep on going, because the Enclave will surely kill us. And now we're getting involved. No, it's the Enclave patrol. They've encountered us anyway. Run, run. Don't stop. Run, just run. No, we lost Cassidy. We lost Cassidy again. Boy, these Enclave patrols, they are... Not good. They're very, very bad. Well, let's try that again. We're... Eventually, we're going to make our way away from the Umbra tribe and make our way down towards the south. But, man, this is not easy. Not... No! Stop! Stop encountering us! You are killing us! You are literally killing us, and we can't stop you from doing so! Yeah, we, we just lost Cassidy. Oh! Balls! That got us killed. Now here's a question. Is it because our luck is at one that we keep having this incredibly difficult encounter? It, no! Ugh. Or is it always scripted, like we're going in the wrong area, we should not be going south because it's way too early in the game to be going south. Is that what's going on? I'm not sure, but it seems like every time we take off, we encounter an Enclave patrol and they kill us immediately. Run! Run! Nope, dead. This time we found a bunch of cannibals! Hey. That is definitely a better encounter. Yes, we can fight four cannibals. Three of us against four of them. And one of us is armed with a shotgun, so yeah. You guys are outclassed. Boy, I am not sure if it's because we're in the dark here. <laughs> Vic just picked up the knife that the cannibal dropped. I'm not sure if it's because it's nighttime, but we are all, all of us, both us and our enemies, having terrible luck. We can barely hit each other. And we're, there we go. Knock this one over. Yeah. She keep drop. she drops her weapons. She fall, uh, I, I did not attack. You, you threw your spear in the exact wrong direction. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. We've had such a terrible time with combat. I'm assuming because it's dark out and we can't see what's going on. That's my guess. And these cannibals just had a bunch of rocks on their person. Why, why are cannibals carrying rocks around? How does that say, how does that help anybody? Well, whatever. Let's check out this cave. Anything in this cave over here? This cannibal's cave? We see gecko. Wow. We see about two, three dozen geckos. Well, that sounds like a huge waste of ammunition and our time. Let's not stop there and keep going. We're still not too far away from the Umbra tribe. We're only about five squares away. We've got to keep going. It's a very, very long journey to San Francisco. I feel like this is going to be nothing but a road trip episode. Ugh. And just every once in a while it's going to be punctuated by the fact that the Enclave keeps ambushing and killing us. Yes, like that. Thank you for the demonstration. He's a mutant spy. Take him out, team. Well, this is a different Enclave encounter, but nevertheless, it's still an encounter with the Enclave, and they're gonna kill us. Run, Cassidy. Don't get... No, don't charge in. Oh, bye, Cassidy. Don't worry. I saved. We'll reload. 
Hey, Louie, you ever seen what one of these babies does to a soft tissue? Watch! No, 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 not another... Nah, we're probably gonna not survive this one as well. And there goes Cassidy. Yep. Yeah, these Enclave patrols, they're really a hassle. And the Enclave again. Ugh, we're just not having any luck. And dead. And the Enclave again. And again. And freaking again! You've got to be kidding me! Well, I am thoroughly convinced now that that is, like, some kind of scripted event. I, it's probably not. It's probably because I'm just so unlucky. But I cannot get to San Francisco this way. I cannot make the journey to San Francisco getting killed every five steps. So we're going to keep exploring over here. We're going to stay on the north side of the map. We're going to look around, see if we can find some place that... If it's not Vault 13, maybe it'll give us a clue as to where Vault 13 is. Or we could just keep getting killed by the Enclave over and over. That's a possibility, too. Base, we got an intruder. Sector 3, awaiting orders. Kill him. Roger that, base. Boy. I am... I'm done with this game. I am... I'm, I'm about ready to just wash my hands of this game. This is ridiculous. Oh, good. Another Enclave patrol. Oh, good. Wasteland has claimed your life. Arroyo attempts to send out others to search for the Gek, but they die quickly. Ooh, what have we found here? We have a funny feeling- Oh god, what? The enchanting- what? The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you. I don't even know what that was! A bunch of cows showed up and exploded! Exploded! I... I can't... I can barely wrap my head around what just happened. I was trying to read what was in the notification down here. There were cows, and then an explosion occurred, and I was dead. Okay, back from the save, I guess. Oh! Okay, this is a different kind of random encounter. Four spore plants and five scorpions. Ugh, this is gonna eat into my stim pack reserves. This is terrible. Uh, well, do what we can. This is the first battle where we, where we actually stand a decent chance of winning. But, in all honesty, it's not fun. And we've done it. Wow. That was a rough battle. And Cassidy used up all of his shotgun ammo. And I am poisoned. And both Vic and I dropped our weapons several times. We are both absolutely terrible when it comes to combat. But, it's over. It's over, and we can loot the corpses. And we can level up. So take all of these scorpion tails. Once we find civilization, we'll be able to sell these things. They're not really worth a whole lot, and they do weigh a significant amount. Ugh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we won't... I don't, I don't know if I want to even keep picking these things up. They're just more of a hassle than they're worth. Literally. Okay, 23 skill points, because we're level 8. Why don't we keep putting points into first aid? That is a very useful skill to have. Get that up to 120. And put a couple more points into traps. So it's a nice round 50. Yes, steel and traps are both at 50. Even though I'm probably not going to use any of those skills. Science and repair also on a nice 50. Barter's at 60. Doctor, yeah, everything's pretty well rounded, I think. So let's keep going. Oh, brother, we are really getting low on supplies. I suppose we could stop by Redding again. Why not? Well, this looks like an impact crater of some sort, but there's no way of going in there to checking it out. It definitely looks like some kind of impact crater. But if there's no city there or event, then keep going. We're gonna stop by Redding, try and find some supplies. Hello, I'm Savinelli. I run the caravan between New Reno and Redding. Always looking for a reliable guard or two. We leave town on the 21st of every month. If you want to go with us, make sure you're here on the 21st. Oh, we haven't been to New Reno yet, I don't think. Yeah, sure. You need a guard. Maybe we'll join you. 
It's only the 18th of December right now. Yeah, the 18th of December. So it's been, what, a year since we were first sent out on this journey? It's taking us quite a long time. But we'll trade for some supplies, and I think we'll head out on this journey to Nirino with that caravan. <laughs> I just realized now, just now, that I have the push NPC option. So I can push him out of my way one or two steps. I... Can't believe I didn't realize that earlier. It's going to be very useful. Wow. That. Uh, I can only I can only imagine that there have been a bunch of people yelling at me to do that and been going crazy watching me restart trying to go around them. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, we have waited until the 21st of December. So we'll just pop right in and take this caravan to New Reno. Does that sound good to you? You need a guard, right? Yeah, let's go. Get them doggies moving. Doggies. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. And we are here in New Reno, the biggest little town in the world. Trash can fires and neon signs bathe the city in a hellish glow. Well, looks like someone is a fan of Jet. Yes, Jet seems to be the drug of choice for all of the local addicts. We have Desperado. Looks to be a casino of sorts with some... Burly men. Yeah, casino bouncers. Yeah, we could go in there, maybe. Or ask to go in there. We see a pimp and prostitutes. Well, isn't this a thriving economy? 101 posse? Hmm. Is that, is that a bit of foreshadowing? Probably not. I'm probably reading into things that aren't there. Peace for today, NCR posters. Yeah, this isn't an NCR town, but there are NCR posters posted all over the place. And the cat's paw. The cat's paw. Let's go into the cat's paw. Doesn't sound like a hotel or a... It doesn't sound like a pub. No, the cat's pro... Yeah, the cat's paw is probably a love shack. Ah, a new face. I'm Miss Kitty. Meow, welcome to cat's paw. What's your pleasure today, sir? Um, uh, just want some ask... I just want some questions. Questions, please. I suppose there's no harm in asking. I'm looking for... Uh, no, the only thing I can ask about is the prostitutes. Uh, how much for some action? Oh, you've come to the right place. Whatever your pleasure or fantasy, we can provide it. And don't be shy, we've heard it all. What do you want? Uh, what's on the menu? Well... Let's see, we have Honey Lovin', Dipstick Swirl, Hum Jobs, and various other exotica. Question is, what are you in the mood for? Oral attention, lower body workout, special dramatic request. Yeah, you know what, I've changed my mind. Performance anxiety and all, you understand. Goodbye. I doubt I'm going to get the information I want here. Vic, no, don't get any ideas, we're leaving. We're leaving immediately. We got white booty, black booty, southern booty, and northern booty. We got hot booty, cold booty, fresh booty, and ew, smelly booty. We got tribal booty, we got mutant booty, red scorpion, and robot beauty. What? Also, what? Yo, you got a minute, friend? What is it, you drunkard named Jules? Welcome to the glittering city of Nerino, my brother. And you are? Name's Jules, and I would be most pleased to make your acquaintance, show you around, set you up with whatever you're looking for. All right, Jules, you obviously expect something out of this conversation. What do you want? I'm looking for people like you coming into Reno. This is the prime spot to deal. Plus, certain establishments pay me to point newcomers their way. That a good enough answer for you? Oh, thank you for the honesty, I suppose. I can get you anything you need, brother. If you need to fly, get high, slide down low in a Lucius Ho, Jules knows where to go. Question is, I got the treasure, so what's your pleasure? Uh, I'm looking for a place called Vault 13. Ah, you must mean Vault City. It's to the northeast. You can't miss it. Uh, no, I wasn't looking for a Vault City. That's not Vault 13. You probably don't know what I'm talking about when I ask for a Garden of Eden creation kit. Garden of a who? That's some kind of drug? Nah, that's what I thought. Never mind. Where can I get some supplies around here? Ah, some supplies. You can go to Ronesco up at the West End. But here's the catch. Don't buy no drugs from him because they ain't safe. He's got supplies, all right. But if you want drugs, talk to me. His drugs aren't safe. Well, thanks for the tip. I'd better get going. 
I got jet, jet, and more jet. Let's talk. The only reason you and I would be talking is if you sold jet, jet, and stim packs. And you do not. You do have some 44 Magnum rounds, though. Too bad I don't have a whole lot with which to barter. I guess I've got some caps stored up. Not a whole lot, though. And I do need more ammunition, so sure, I'll pay for the ammunition. And we see a couple of thugs and card dealers here. Uh, me Rico. Three card Monte is the name, and the game's the same as the name. Slap down 20 chips, and we'll get down to it. Chips. I don't have chips, and I don't think I want to slap down some coins. Look, I'll show you three cards. One of these is the queen. I'll lay them face down, shuffle them, and then you pick which one the queen is. If you're right, you win. That's simple, pal. Sounds simple enough. So simple, how could I lose? Probably by not playing. Yes, I need to be very conservative with my funds right now. I am really just straddling the balance between being properly armed and financially sound. So probably not going to throw a bunch of caps down at the casino either, although I would be interested in going inside and seeing what else is available for offer. But instead, let's advance a bit into Reno proper, the biggest little city in the world. Somebody here named Sims. Help you with something, son? Here's a few bucks. Can you play something? No. Like I said, I need to be conservative with my funds here. Can't just throw things away willy-nilly. Uh, what else we got? We got... It looks to be some, some kind of gym over here called Jungie. And double globe or golden globe porn. Wow. It, does everything here have to have a sexual tone? I guess. Let me set you up, man. I was pimp of the year two years running. Don't you be doing no teabag on my woman now. Don't give her a mushroom stamp neither. Talk to me, friend. I got a woman you can wear for the whole night. Yes, yes. There are pimps and prostitutes everywhere. Ah. Somebody has a... What's this? Salvatore's Bar? You can go to the bar, maybe find some quests there. Let's stop by Jungies first and see what this is. Oh! Fisticuffs! A bunch of boxers! Hello! Yeah, we got a bunch of boxers. These guys all fight like bums. What do you want, big guy? Oh, this midget is talking to me. Midget. Not my words, it's this game's words. What do you... Who are you? What, you ain't heard of me? Stuart Little? Biggest agent in all of Reno? Someone's done you a disservice by not telling you about me, pal. Got a name? Nope, I've none. All right, none. Nice to meet you. What can I do for you? Uh, maybe I can box. I put a bunch of points into unarmed. Can you help me out? You want to box? Uh, all right. Let me level with you, kid. You just don't look like you have the frame for it. Oh, come on. Give me a chance, Stuart. I put a bunch of points into strength. All right, I'll give you a chance. But I ain't promising anything. This hurts business even a little, and you're out. My take is half the winnings. No argument. 25% and you got a deal. No, 50-50 or nothing. How about 50-50? We'll split the profit right down the middle. All right, you're gonna need a name. You know, a handle. Something better than none. None the hurricane, none the brawler. Something tough or mean. I have a couple of options here. Can I have a few more? Yeah, there are plenty of options. Chosen one. <laughs> yes, I will be chosen one none. And uh, I'm sure my opponents will call me chosen none. Chosen one. Not bad. I guess it fits. Shall we get to it then? You ready? Yeah, let's do some boxing. I'll put my spear away. Round one. Who am I fighting? Ladies and gentlemen, round one. Round one. Round one. Boys and girls. Round one. Boys and girls. Yeah, all five of them. Today's match is brought to you by round one. Rot gut. Rot gut. If your gut isn't rotting, drink some rot gut. When you absolutely have to no, rot, choose rot gut. In this corner, the challenger, weighing it at 171 pounds because he's over encumbered, the chosen one. And in this corner, weighing in at 181 pounds, you know him, you love him, his name is Jock. So without further ado, let the fight begin. Let's get ready to beat some ass. And I've got some punching gloves on, and I guess him and I are duking it out now. <laughs> and it's still in this, uh combat tactics thing where we go turn by turn and the dog's running away dog always runs away from a fight all right jock you and me mano a mano let's see you can handle their punches 
Huh. Ow. I critically missed and crippled my left arm. Well, this is fi this fight is off to a great start. Try again. I did two points of damage. Yeah, how does that feel? It probably doesn't feel so good. What do you got, Jack? Yeah, you can't do nothing. He critically missed and lost his next turn. And the winner is... By means of knockout. Somebody got knocked out? The chosen one. I, I knocked him out? How did I do that? My arm was crippled. All right, fine. I won. I guess I won. Damn fine performance up there, chosen one. You know all right. You know what you're doing. You feeling all right? Let me know when you're ready for the next match. My arm is broken, so probably not. Uh, but sure. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. My arm is still crippled. Didn't fix that. Probably should have probably should have remedied that in between rounds. In this corner, the chosen one. And in this corner, you know him, you love him, Pete McNeely, also known as Mr. Knees. So without further ado, let the fight of the century begin. Who will win, the chosen nun or Mr. Knees? All right, man. Let's see how you handle my cripple punch. Cripple punch, go! I missed. Try again! I did two points of damage to him. Ow. <laughs> He punched himself, he, he tried to punch me and he himself crippled his left arm. And then he landed a punch, but it did no damage. I can't believe I'm winning this. My luck is atrocious, my strength is mediocre, but I think I might win this. He, he critically missed and lost his next turn. I, I can't believe we're winning this stupid fight. And the winner is, by means of knockout, the chosen nun. Damn fine performance up there, Chosen One. I mean, yeah, Chosen One. I had it right the first time. You're doing all right. You're feeling all right? Let me know when you're ready for the next match. Uh, let me rest a little, then I'll be ready. Can I use the doctor skill to uncripple my arm, please? You fail to do any healing. Try again. Yes, you heal a couple of hit points, and you earn 52 experience for honing your skills. We're... We're failing to heal our crippled arm. There we go. Doctor skill isn't completely worthless. All right. Well, I... Two in a row. We're on a hot streak. Let's go for three. I'm ready to rumble. All right, then. Let's get this circus on the road. Yes, it really is a circus, isn't it? Tonight's show is brought to you by The Cat's Paw. When you need to get that itch scratched, head to The Cat's Paw. In this corner, The Chosen One. And in this corner, you know him and you love him, Evan Holyfield. Well, that that, that seems a little. I, I don't. That seems like a reference to someone like Evander Holyfield. I I don't think I can fight a professional boxer. I thought these were just some kind of low-level goons. Let's get ready to beat some ass. Okay, feeling a little less confident, but I think I might be able to take this guy. He's probably a glass jaw featherweight. Come on, what do you got? What do you got? Take one of these. I missed. We'll take a second one. I did no damage. All right, your turn. Throw a couple punches. See what you got. Ow! Ow! Oh, that hurt you more than it hit me. <laughs> and the winner is, by means of a knockout, the chosen none. Damn fine performance up there, chosen one. You doing all right? Feeling all right? Let me know when you're ready for the next match. Yeah, let's get down to business. I'm on a roll. This match is brought to you by New Reno Arms. When you need to kill someone from a safe distance, come to New Reno Arms. In this corner, you know him, you hate him. He is the chosen one. And in this corner, at a whopping 194 pounds, you know him, you love him, the Masticator. The Masticator, huh? When I'm done with you, you're gonna be drinking your food through a straw instead! Ow. I broke my right arm this time. Go down. Go down. Ow! I critically missed and lost my turn. And now he's just wailing on me. That seems unfair. I surrender. I give up. And the winner is... By means of knockout... The Masticator! Ugh, get out of my sight, asshead. No hope for you in this town. Beat it! Oh, come on, Stuart. Give me one more chance. I can go the distance. Ugh, 
One more chance. I get 75%. No arguments. Screw up again, and you're out of here. Done. Give me time to rest up, and I'll be ready to fight again. After, yeah, I guess my arm's fixed now, so... Yeah, you know what? It's time for a rematch. Let's fight the Masticator one more time. Uh, we're not fighting... We're fighting so... We're, oh, okay, we're, we're not fighting the Masticator. We're fighting Holyfield this time. That's fine. Hello, Holyfield. Ready for a rematch against me? I can beat you down a second time. Whoa, uh, fight's over. How is fight over already? Fight did not even begin. And the winner is... By means of knockout... Holy field! Was I... I... Okay. Okay. Get out of my sight. No hope for you. Did the Masticator bite your ears off? Beat it. Get out of here. I can smile calmly, nod, and then attack him. Or I can just hit the road. Yeah, we're done here. We're done. I'm, I, didn't even get a, I didn't even get a chance to fight that second fight. But okay. Okay. We're done here. We are done at Jungi, the boxing ring. We gained a bit of experience from that. And I... Guess maybe some money? I'm not sure. Definitely experience, maybe money. And we earned some boxing gloves. Stuart did not take those away from us. So let's re-equip our armor and our primary weapon. And did we get any more money? Uh, I think so. I think we have a little more money. Okay. Well, I suppose that was worthwhile. If only for the experience points. Where did my companions go? Vic? There's Vic, right? And here is the Shark Club. Uh, where the Sark... Cub. Well, I think that was a pretty fine introduction to this town, but it seems to be pretty big. We haven't explored the bar yet. I'm told there's a gun shop somewhere around here. There are lots of women and prostitutes, so we could visit the these brothels or whatever these places are and see if they have any quests for us. Quests that don't involve getting laid. You never know. Maybe they have an issue they need someone to take care of. Someone that is desperate for experience points and better armor. So we're going to go around and talk to these folks next time. For now, I would say that this town hasn't been too bad lately. It's definitely got some interesting things going on and some interesting characters so far. But I'll, I'll withhold judgment until I've poked around a bit more. I'm hoping for some interesting quests. Quests that will really help me out. And maybe, just maybe, someone will give me a lead to Vault 13. But I guess we'll figure that out next time. Until then, my name is Mike, and this has been Fallout 2. Thank you for joining me.